We had a great time in DR. That's probably because we didn't have to fix anything on the boat, right? Yeah, that's true. Dad gave us plenty of time to eat those 50 cents ice creams that Matteo liked so much mm. because they were blue. We had them pretty much every day. Almost every day, yeah. It was a great time for the kids to see their friends from La Meta. Last time we've seen them was in Nassau, so it's been a while. Restaurants were $3 for the whole family, so that was definitely a treat for us to finally go out a bit. And with the $3, that included like a super big plate of chicken with some side dish, your beer, and some juice for the kids, everything. That was all in all the best place to wait. During our spare time, we met uh, new friends from the boat Le Clandestin. We had some good time with them on a beautiful beach that they showed us. I even had to uh, get my kite up in the wind again. Uh, yeah, that was nice. Kids liked it. It seemed that that beach was beautiful a few years ago and then the restaurant on the beach started to give the plates on some styrofoam and plastic containers and the locals started to just throw the trash everywhere along the way to the beach. So it's a bit filthy to say the, the least. So our new friends from Le Clandestin said, you guys want to help to clean that beach? Count on us. Count on us, yeah. We're there, and the kids were really excited to do it as well. And we managed to fill up, I would say, 10 bags in a matter of five minutes without even walking that much. So, you know, we cleaned like 50 square meters which is better than nothing, I guess. This is what you need when you drop your expensive sunglasses in the dirty water of Lupron. Well, it's not dirty, but it's definitely no visibility and there's a lot of current, so no chances to find them yourself. Yeah, you need a diver. And you need a whole lot of luck. Which you have, apparently. Yay! <laughs> All these islands, the Bahamas, Dominican Republic, Puerto Rico, the Virgin Islands are on what we call the thorny path, which is a, a really hard one to sell because you have the wind in your nose all the time. To go through the thorny path, most of the time you need to, uh, to motor sail or just motor at night. Because there is less wind at night. Yeah. 
So, of course, when the weather window arrived, we were not alone. That was uh, waiting for it. And we left with La Méta and Le Clandestin at the same time. That was really nice to have three boats at night for the navigation. And for the delights of the kids. It took three nights, a full day crossing the Mana Passage that is between Dominican Republic and Puerto Rico, mm. and another night, and then we arrived in Puerto Rico. But that, that is not the end of the thorny path. Oh no, far from it. what you need when you dro dro drop your expensive <laughs> glasses and loop around. The Diver, a team from Andy Andy.